Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Today is the day. Oh my gosh. Uh, you can tell that today I've been super excited because I actually tried a little bit today. Not too, too much, but just a little, just enough because this video is awesome. Is this, yeah. So I am so, so excited. It's finally here. I spent so much money on this. Plus not uh, also an extra charge to change the shipping from where I originally shipped to pick it up and I actually sent it. Well, I'm so excited. I just want to open this. So I'm going to change the camera really quick. We're going to open this properly. It's not as epic as I thought as I wanted to, but given that we're stuck at home, we can't leave, really leave anywhere. This is probably going to be as good as it's going to get. So let's unbox this because ah, I'm like so excited. Woo! Let's go see what's inside. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, wow. Wow. Just look at that. It's like you don't even want to throw this away. Okay, right away, this thing is heavy. Wow. So this is a Ziploc bag. Dang, I don't think I'm even going to be throwing this away. I'm going to keep this. Okay. You guys, this, I'm like freaking out right now. Can you tell? It's here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here it is in all its glory. It's a little scuffed up already, which I'm not that happy with. Um, I'm sure it's probably, let's see, a little saliva. Okay, okay, not too bad. I actually have this wet cloth here. We're a quick little cleaning. Because if I'm gonna get scuffs on it, I want it to be my scuffs. You know what I mean? You get what I mean, right? But if they're pre-made, that's kind of what I don't like. But look, it's super easy to clean because of the material. I, I don't even know where to begin. So if you were a backer, there was kind of a, um, kind of like a poll or rather questionnaire on what sort of things you wanted this bag to kind of improve. One of which was this zipper from the prototype. This uh, to kind of make it a locking mechanism. So it's, you know, anti-theft per se. That way it's a little bit harder to get into this pocket since this is where you're going to be essentially placing your passport. It's kind of an important document. You don't want it, want it to be stolen. So they did add this loop here. So that will be something new versus the pre-production um, bags that we've seen in videos or pictures. So here I have some of the cool things. If I can somehow show it. I'll figure out a way to show you guys, but here imprinted on the back inner side of this pocket is fly the flag. Very awesome detail. There's also a magnet, which is where you will place your passport in the magnet pocket. Passport pocket goes up to here, and then the back pocket goes down here. So it's a little, a little bit different. Very good material. You also have a keychain if you want it. Put your keys in here. Um, oh my god, we're, we're opening it. We're actually doing it. We're opening it. We're opening it. Uh, oh my gosh. Whoops, wrong pocket. Okay, so here's the first flap. So essentially this will be for if you want uh, to pack clothes or extra gear, you do have an option to expand this bottom version. Um, if I am mistaken, I think it gives you an extra eight, was it eight liters, I think, on the bottom, because it does kind of like go at an angle. Also, if you don't want to expand it or you're not planning to use it for clothes, you do have four smaller interior organizational pockets for things you kind of want quick access to. On the opposite side here, we have um, 
two bigger zippered pockets. Uh, this top one is actually will reveal the inner pocket. Again, this is mainly advertised for clothes. And then you can kind of close this up there. And then you have uh, two extra pockets in here. So they are just big mesh pockets. Nothing too fancy or anything like that. Um, good again for quick access things such as cables. Um, or even an extra shirt if you are shooting outside a lot and you probably sweat, especially if you're here in Texas, an extra shirt is actually quite awesome to have uh, kind of handy with you. So that is this whole front pocket. This is probably the most flex compartment that you'll have on this bag. Everything else, it's very, very sturdy. So here is the quick access pocket on the side if you want quick access to your camera. Uh, you also have a handle here, very, very sturdy. This thing is like really, really reinforced in the stitches. Don't think this will be coming off or fringing anytime soon. You also have these four thingies. I'm guessing you can probably clip things on here if need be. Checking on the opposite side, you have Opposite side, you have kind of your water bottle or tripod uh, holder here, as well as another really well reinforced handle, and the same for little, what I'm guessing, are clippy thingamabobbers. Also, really quick, it's awesome having this bottom handle. Uh, already, I really love it. Oh my gosh, so many of these. I really like having this handle. It's reinforced, it's pretty cool. Top handle is very, very well padded. Um, so let's go ahead and flip this baby over. Comes with a waist belt here, very well padded. It feels really good quality material. It is removable in case you don't want it. In case you have maybe a lighter pack, it's not really needed. Because you also have an adjustable chest strap as well. Clip, so it should be fairly easy clip on and off. Um, Let's see here. Obviously, you get the very awesome fly the flag decal here. Did not skip on the details. Look at that. It looks amazing. You also get a pass through, a luggage pass through right here. Again, this waist belt is removable, so that's always a good option. You have countless spots of hanging things and clipping if you need to, if you know, so you always have that option. It's very tactical of the bag. Um, Enough of the outside. Here's a little tag. Let's let's get into what really matters. The inside. Ooh. These zippers are like heavy duty. Wow. They feel legit. Oh my gosh, okay. Are you guys ready? Because I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, sorry. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Wow, let's start from the bottom up. Let's see what's in here. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Battery case, yeah. Very easy to take off. You can have up to three batteries here. Obviously, we all love magnets. So satisfying. Oh man, this feels good, dude. This feels and looks awesome. So we got battery case. What else we got? We have a mini for SD cards, CFast cards, all of that goodness. Again, oh, love how easy it is to take that off. Um, here you have a zippered pocket, which, you know, they suggested maybe micro SD cards or anything, or maybe a, a tool of some sort that you need in there. But check this out. You have items here for probably CFast cards. I don't have any, I only have SD cards. What does this say? Push up with thumb to remove memory card. Okay, thank you for that. So I guess you go what, like like this? Let me see. Or is it only on the edges? Push up with thumb nail. Push up with thumb nail. I don't get it, like that? Boop. I don't know. But anyways, this is also magnetic. Yeah! So we got two pouches. It's a little bit smaller than the battery case. Same material, fantastic material. Um, we have three dividers here. We have some extra straps, which I'm guessing, oh, these straps are for the front of the bag in case you wanna put your tripod on there instead, on the side. So we get that. I think this, if I'm not mistaken, this was, we got this because 
we hit the goal a lot faster than we thought as far as like meeting the goal to back this. So this is just a dedicated rain cover. Honestly, after feeling the way this material is, I mean, it's gotta be drenched. It's gotta be really, really, really heavy water for me to pull this out and actually use it. So it's good to have. I guess it's depending on where you're traveling to, maybe this is kind of a, a must for you. Okay, we see here the next big, th big thing here is a, an accessory case. Hard, very, very well padded. Got, of course, the Peter McKinnon Nomadic logo there at the top. You get a side handle here. That's the only handle you get. Whoa. Again, zippers are freaking sturdy. Boom, look at that. You have room, you have two uh, removable and you know customizable shelving stuff to organize around your things depending on what you want to carry, as well as with this pouch here. Um, yeah, so you can put probably cables, you know, and there you go, that's the accessory case. Oh yeah, this is really cool too. I'm really excited about this one. Also, very well protected. One handle. Here we have four your ND filters. Check that out. Plus some extra pouches in the front and back in case you need to put something else in there. Your filters will be very well protected in this case. I mean, in any of these cases really. And that's it for that. And now we're on to kind of like the biggest, the talk of the town. This camera, what is, what do they call it? Cube pack. So this is like the biggest thing that people have talked about since the release and since the release and talk about the Peter McKinnon Nomadic backpack, it's this convertible cube pack. So yes, we already know at this point that this turns into your day pack by the unzipping the top zipper here you reveal the backpack but let's see how the organization at the bottom is look at that so this is great for very minimalist I know a lot of people just only backed up the camera bag the camera cube because essentially you get a cube and a backpack all in one you get three adjustable covers uh, to kind of change around depending on what gear you're gonna be taking but this is more than enough room for a minimalist if you're only taking a camera and a lens and a mic this feels awesome this is great this is cool I love it so that lives here. Of course, this backpack is customizable to you and your needs. So you have one, two, three, four bigger shelving units that you can kind of customize and depending if you do or not need this or certain cases. Let's check the other side of this bag. Okay, in here, similar to the top compartment that we just saw, you get two mesh pockets. Again, nothing super duper fancy. It's just great for organization. This is marketed as mainly as your tablet or maybe folder, paper, anything you need can fit in here. You could potentially fit your laptop in here if you don't want it in the dedicated, oops. If you don't want it in the dedicated sleeve for your laptop, which is, somewhere one of these zippers so on the side which the back zipper reveals an actual dedicated pocket for your laptop Bloop. whoops so there you go it's very well hidden it's kind of like it took me a little bit to figure out which side had the dedicated zipper seamlessly fits into the backpack it's not screaming hey I have a laptop or anything that's kind of awesome again you have this quick access here of course you're going to, have to change it around if you do want to use this to kind of avoid this whole thing because it is kind of a pain in the butt to have that velcro on and off um, so I will have to I will be doing some adjustments that way I always have the option of getting my camera in and out but this is the bag oh my gosh it's finally here okay before this video gets way too long I'm gonna go ahead and cut the unboxing here I'm gonna go inside, pack it up. I don't have all of my gear, so it may be a little bit bare than my usual, but let's go ahead and fit in my day-to-day -day stuff in here. So we'll be right back. We're back. And I got this thing packed up. 
Again, a lot of bare spots because I didn't bring all of my gear back to Texas since I'm going back to Chicago once all of this kind of settles down. Anyway, so there isn't everything that I would carry in here, um, but let's start again from top and go downwards. So in this quick access pocket here, I've kind of mimicked the quick access that I had on the Low Pro Free line, which is kind of the everyday things that I use, especially when on the train. Hand sanitizer. And then I have some cold medicine, chapstick, lipstick. And in, in the pocket where it's dedicated for the passport, the magnet, I actually went ahead and just put my AirPods in here, as well as wired headphones, just in case, with obviously the dongle. <laughs> Pocket. So really, I here I don't have much of anything except for my notebook and pen. And of course, I mean, dang, this pen had got really, really dirty, but uh, here's my brass pen. Of course, none other than the fly the flag. I figured maybe I'll just leave it here. Uh, just because it doesn't occupy too much space. On the opposite side here, Starting from the bottom to top, I have just miscellaneous things. My tissue paper, which now I think I should probably put it to the top uh, pocket in the front, um, as well as the Sharpie, cleaning utensils. Uh, this is actually my Sony A7 III charger, and then my little sticker book thing, and a tool. Forgot to close that. Here, all I have is lotion, microfiber cloth, as well as my solution for my glasses. So that's really all I have there. Okay, so now before we get in, here is where I have my laptop. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. If it's a little bit snug, as you can tell there, um, the stitching here is quite noticeable. Not sure if that is supposed to be like that or if that's gonna be an issue in the long run of me trying to open and close the laptop compartment with actually having things inside, so. Time will tell. Now, obviously I only have one camera, so the current camera that I'm using to record is up there, so it's not in the backpack. However, I did manage to somewhat uh, get an open spot for quick access for the Sony a7 III with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens attached to it. I couldn't find a proper configuration in avoiding a sticky part with this. I either lose a lot of space in if I were to open this up and not have something sticky on here, or I have to do something like this. So every time I open it, I'm gonna have to unvelcro that compartment. Um, again, maybe with time figuring out the configuration, maybe I can solve that problem, but for now, that's the way I currently have it. Now, this already looks pretty puffed out. I don't know if you guys could tell. And it is because I do have my iPad Pro 11 inch with the Logitech case inside of the laptop. I mean, inside of the tablet compartment. So I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue. So I think for right now, this is my configuration, possibly. Obviously, over time and with use, I'll probably change it up, but I did want to keep in mind having this available. Uh, I Again, I don't have my drone, I don't have my gimbal, all of that stuff. This is kind of where I would like to have my drone live. As you can see, I did take out the accessory case that came with it. I could replace all of this item and put it in here. So. If I did want to use this, all I have to do is either find a different home for these accessories here or simply put this in here. But that's just added weight that I don't necessarily need at this moment. I do see this kind of being for like my um, Insta360 stuff, kind of having it in here. So anytime I need my 360 camera, I can just grab this and know that I have everything that I need in here. And that's kind of the same idea with the camera cube is have the drone kind of live in here. So when I do need the drone, I can just grab this camera cube and know that I have everything. Or if I don't, I can take this out, either have this empty 
or if I needed the backpack, then obviously just take out the drone stuff. I really only carry around two lenses at most, 24 to 70 and the 50 milliliter lens, as well as the Aperture MC light in its case. Uh, I love this light. It's fantastic. I try to travel with it everywhere just because you never know. As well as my Peak Design strap. I got a mouse here that I really, really love traveling with. A uh, solution to clean my lens and screen stuff. I bought this cable from Polar Pro for my monitor. So that's, it came with its own pouch, so that's kind of cute. So I have that just in case. And here's the battery case. And actually I think I have, or figured out a little hack for this. So I know it's marketed for these Z batteries that are, you know, typically this size batteries. However, for my monitor, I use these and uh, they kind of fit. It's not a perfect fit, as you can see. It kind of lifts up a little bit because it does go above the stitched line. But since I don't have a lot of batteries, I only have two of these and I only have two of these, which means I could carry around both of those type batteries in here and they're kind of protected. So I don't mind it not being super perfect. That is really cool that I can fit both of those batteries in here. Next up is the filter case. I actually didn't bring any filters with me on the trip besides the one attached to the lens, which kind of lives there, but all the extra filters that I have for these two, I didn't bring with me. Essentially, they would be in here, and I like how just slick, quick access I have to them here. Alongside, I also fit the SD card case. Um, Again, with me, I only I only brought one extra. So here it is. And now I kind of understand the use the nail to lift. So you just kind of pull that up and you can grab your S, oops, just kidding. Go like that and take your SD card out and put it back in. So this is the perfect size to kind of fit alongside the filter case in this very sleek uh, little compartment there. Right away, all I have in here is the actual MacBook Pro charger along with the cable. Here I have my two most frequently used hard drives, one for work, one for play, well, meaning YouTube, and it's cables along with the dongle I typically use on the go for my MacBook Pro. The 11 inch fit perfectly in here. Again, I think with this Logitech case, it is so beefy, it makes, it weighs this backpack down. And I hate it because I love the keyboard, I love using this case with my iPad. However, for travel, I hate this combination. Nevertheless, it does fit in here in case that is the combination that you're thinking of using on the go with this backpack. It will fit. It just makes this a lot bulgier. And that is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack. And so now, who do I think this backpack is for? This is obviously coming from as initial review, very brief, not even 24 hours with this bag. And I already know this is not marketed for everyone. This backpack is very specifically made for those that really go out and travel and are out in the world elements, need to place their backpack down and grab things on the go. This backpack is definitely not really intended for those that just carry around a few things and just go from to and from a studio here and there. Uh, it's very, very heavy. This backpack is heavy. I can't express it enough. I said it Im immediately as soon as I lifted it from the box itself with just the cases, no, no actual substance. This backpack is heavy, which again, that may or may not be a good, uh, a good or bad thing. It depends on what you need this backpack for. So this is very, very sturdy. This is probably the sturdiest bag I have ever seen reviewed probably apart from the low pro pro tactic i think it was like the 450 was the one i i had that one's also very sturdy i think this one is still a little bit above that as far as the sturdiness goes this backpack is also very tactical small amount of gear that i put in it it's massive it makes this backpack really really heavy so in terms of, for me, what I intend to use this backpack for, or do I even intend to keep this backpack? So yes, you hear me gripe about my oldness and how I can I can barely carry the regular backpack. Um, so where do I see myself using this bag? Mainly for travel, particularly to and from Texas and Chicago. Since they're both my home, I both in both places I have things, but when I'm in Chicago and I wanna come back home to visit my family, for a weekend and it's not really work heavy, uh, meaning I don't have to bring lights and all this other stuff to do work over the weekend, I can see myself fitting everything that I need in here. 
and it's just my one go-to bag. So I really like that idea of being able to have that one bag for a quick trip. However, for the day-to-day, -day, I'm actually not sure I'll be using this for every day. And I won't be using the camera cube because it is rather too small for all the items that I usually carry to and from the office or studio. I don't know, I spent over $500 on this bag. I know, this bag is cost me over $500. Do I think it's worth it? At this moment, I'm leaning towards no. Because in my situation, which, which I knew beforehand, but I really wanted to test this backpack out. So, but, you know, hold on. Um, I knew that this backpack wasn't, go I wasn't going to use this backpack to its full capacity, such as someone who is like, you know, for Peter McKinnon, who travels, who's always constantly on the go, who's a tall giant man compared to me. But nevertheless, I am still super excited to have this backpack with me. Uh, I can't wait to really use it and get to organize it a little bit better depending on where I'm going or uh, what I need to bring with me. But since we can't really go anywhere, this is the best that I could review it today. Again, look out for the actual in-depth review. I mean, this is probably the longest unboxing ever done. But again, this was a highly anticipated bag. I've waited months for it. You guys have waited months for it. So comment down below if you have any specific questions or concerns about this bag, or let me know if you already got your Peter McKinnon nomadic backpack or what accessories you got with it. Uh, like this video if you liked it, hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe.